Hey guys, welcome back to some more World Snooker Championship 2011 and part 4 of our career mode. In today's episode, we start the final of the Welsh Open against Ronnie the Rocket or Sullivan. Uh, over the best of 19 frames. Obviously, it's 17 in real life, but this game uh, just has a set pattern for, for every single match. So even the World Championship final on this game is 19 frames, which is very, very sad, but hey ho thank you for all the support on the series so far as always and uh, yeah let's get into it another match against the rocket and uh, hopefully we'll be on the right side of it once again so here we are then first frame of this 19 frame extravaganza against the rocket if we hadn't hit the blue there that would have been a perfect break off great safety if he looked any more relaxed he'd be asleep wouldn't he we'll see this red but looking at the black it's going to be tough to Get on a colour here, but uh, we'll try our best. Well, we'll settle for that. I think we're on the blue. We are. So, a little bit of stun into the pack here would be nice, just to bring a few reds into play. It. Oh, we hit the pink. Great position. Well, we're okay. Oh, maybe, maybe not on the red. I, I thought we were, but fine on this red. So, a little bit of screw back to come up for the blue. That hmm. Not our best. I'll just drop this in. Straight back for the blue. Amazing. It's not a bad position. I'm sort of stun it into the pack, controlled cannon. There you go. I don't believe that. It's going to be a, a tough one to. Continue the break. That's it. Nineteen. Are we on the brown? It's touching yellow, so no. That's the answer to that. Not ideal position for him, but he should be okay. As John says, we should be okay with this blue. Nice pot. He's not renowned as a very good player, unfortunately, so he might not opt for that. But, uh, not a straightforward pot, but not overly tough either. Um, I've overhit that a little bit, Never goodness me. Ought to be a straightforward pot. I'd fancy the blue again. Do struggle to, to see Doesn't the line of the ball with these uh, the world, this aim and aid, but that's right in the it heart came. of the pocket. Nice pot. So decent start for us here. Five reds, five blues so oh, far. Oh well, the side must have threw that. Shot requires the rest, and it's certainly a tricky one. So Ronnie or Sullivan. You've got your first chance. In this first port of call, we'll be getting that black in the play. And this it is. is. Oh, he's missed the blue, though. Likes to play snooker very much by the book, this player. 
almost a foul. Great cue ball control. Look at him. He knows he's in command now. So through the yellow and brown here. Great potting. <laughs> that position here. Couldn't control that. That's unlucky. Ball. You have to say it. that is unlucky. Yeah, that definitely doesn't go, unfortunately. So I think we're just going to rest up to this uh, red. Not much else we can do. He's going to do the same. It doesn't go into the middle yet. I mean, it does, but <laughs> it's a ridiculous uh, shot to take on. So. Just rest up. Ronnie's doing the same, so a little bit of a stalemate here. While we sort this mess out. So, a bit of a, a boring stalemate here in this frame, but uh, we're both just dilly dallying. <laughs> it's a little shot into the middle here, but uh, it's very risky. Just gotta be very careful not to leave anything on here. So. Oh dear. Well, Ronnie went for that, goodness me. I mean, after all of that, he obviously got frustrated and played a ridiculous one. He has got away with it, though. Um, it's a very, very tough pot into the middle. I'm inclined probably not to take it, but after the one well, Ronnie's just took on. To I could probably read two before he decides on a shot. It's uh, so 31 in front. A um, few of these reds with decent valued colours and should have this first frame on the board. He's a very quick player. Loves to move around the table and keeps the tempo up. Wanted to be sort of half ball on this black, but... Uh, Poor position. It's okay. Oh no, it's two reds. <laughs> Never mind. We do have a, a little possible cut back into the middle. It is going to be tough though. Oh well, I tell you what, that nearly didn't drop. Uh, even if Ronnie wants to get back to the table at this point, you you wouldn't expect him to do much. Just oh, too well, hard. Missed the black. Goodness me. Nice and safe. So I'm just try and drop this red in. Yep. So 44 ahead. If we put the black, Ronnie can only tie. So. He knows this is an uphill struggle now. Oh. oh, we've hung it. And what a pot Ronnie's pulled out, goodness me. What a shot that was. Five. A bit wayward there. Bit of an odd decision to play. The brown. <laughs> so just this red. <clears throat> no. Nope. Oh, we 
have left it for Ronnie as well, so... No, oh. it was tough. It was a tough part, but uh, I still expected him to get it. But uh, we've needed a few chances. Needs for him, but uh, looks good. we have finally got over the line now. And if this green goes in, I wouldn't expect Ronnie back to the table. So pretty happy with that. Just drop this. Uh, Not renowned for being a traditional player, unfortunately. See if we can clear the table. Just got to be careful of the lean off here. Skillful positional shot. Probably just pot the pink and call the frame. Although, be rude not to pot the black. Well, we go a position like this, although I think we've missed it. Oh, it wobbled in. And there we go. We needed a few chances, but restricted Ronnie to just 11 points. And we take the opening frame and lead 1-0. Oh, certainly wasn't uh, vintage stuff from us there, but, uh, you know, we got the job done. Not oh, it's in well. I thought we hadn't hit it hard enough with the camera angle, but uh, apparently we were all right. Well, hampered ourselves a little bit here, but should be okay. Yes. Well, he's looking very relaxed. Is he meditating over there? So, just gonna drop this in and get a nice position on that red. bit straighter than we would have liked but uh, at least it allows us to get a decent angle on this black to go into these reds so here we go this is the moment Superb. and look at those reds goodness me did we get into that nicely right does that black go Question. Oh, it's very, very tight. Very tight indeed. Well, I think it does. Maybe only enough the. It's interesting now that we have an idea of the, the right of the draw. Replays. I'm sure. Although this isn't ideal, but uh, still should pass. I would, I would say. And it did. Quite easily in the end. So need to be too worried about it. So, just gonna drop this in. That could have been a lot better. A little cannon here should be guaranteed position. Pretty good. So But yeah, uh, before people ask that there, there is not a difficulty setting um, on this game the, the you, know, you know we've already took the, the positional aid off. Um, you know, you can take the aiming aid off, but as I demonstrated in a uh, World Snooker 09 video, it is just very difficult to, to get the, the feel right on this game. 
um, with shots when you don't have the aim and aid. So, um, you know, that's that's we do play with the aim and aid. There's no AI difficulty. Just some players are better than others, and you know, it's it's all scaled in terms of uh, how good the players are in real life, of course. Uh, some players are overpowered, some players are underpowered, that's just the way it is, but uh, this has been a, a decent break so far. Uh, this is going to be 72. We are still on the 147, which if this red goes in, we'll concentrate on fully. Obviously, a couple of episodes ago, we <laughs> under hit the pink when on 134, so I'm not going to get too excited just yet but uh, that's the end of the frame so he might not opt for that what an amazing shot black so I'll just drop it in hopefully be on that red over the middle because I think that's the toughest one to get on the black from so we can get that out of the way now and that will be good and we can so Good chance here. This is a even better chance than the last one that we had to be honest with you. It's always tense though. Always always tense. So, I'll do the left hand side here. Yeah. Bit wayward not, there. Not the best, but still a very gettable shot here. Just making sure. Brilliant. There it is. Not looking phased by his opponent at all. So Fifteen reds, and what's surely going to be the fifteenth black? Can we get on the yellow? Yes, we can. So, the six colours for our first 147 on camera. And it's a lot, been a long time coming. We've had many chances, we've bottled a couple. But uh, this one has been textbook. So far. Gonna have to be careful with this one. Looks okay. It's not perfect. Not ideal, but not too bad. Gonna hit it with a fair amount of pace. Don't want to be playing the pink into the middle this time. So here we Should go. Be able to pink put this one away. Just needs to and the black. For the one four seven, and we're gonna make sure we hit it hard enough this time. Stun across for the black. And there it is. <laughs> nearly <laughs> nearly called the frame there. So here we go for the 147. I'm just going to make sure. And there it is. Watch the white go in. But we've done it. The 147. In the second frame of this match. A beautifully compiled break. 
and we now lead 2 0. What a start of this Head final. Of moment, which always helps psychologically. And the worst thing is, you've always got to uh, play the next frame from zero again. So, going to bring ourselves down from that incredible high, getting the 147. He, be in the match. Um, he has to try and make every shot count. Great safety. He's okay at safety shots. It was a long time coming, more of a relief than anything else to finally get one. So, but uh, no, very very happy with that. And, uh, Isn't safe. Well, unfortunately, Ronnie can get through with this. It's a tough one though. He's hammered, but good pots. Oh, he's lucky. I thought it was going to be end of break, but he is on the black. So. Ronnie in it first in this frame. How's he gonna do? Good pot. Good pot. That was Ooh, he nearly went in off there, goodness me. Well, this should open the reds up nicely. Oh, well, he didn't play it confidently. So only brought one or two more reds out. This is a good break from Ronnie so far great response to the first two frames 47 points a lead only a couple of more pots really lucky to be on the black but he is that's a decent chance for a, a 1-4 Something. I was going to say a one four six, but uh, what was he playing here? Yeah. Goodness me! What a shot he's took on there. That was very risky from Ronnie. Well, that break of sixty two gives him at least first dibs in this frame. into that a little bit too well but uh, we're okay on the brown got plenty of points in hand I just can't believe Ronnie took that on that was uh, that was TIJ-esque there <laughs> taking that one on goodness me oh where's the cue ball oh, speaking of TIJ-esque goodness me this 65 points the lead so Well, and he's brought those very, two very reds into play. So, this is a half decent chance for counter clearance. of inches maybe an inch too much there won't get position bit wayward there you have to say it's unlucky not to get on any of them reds but uh, it's a fairly straightforward plant just got to a little bit to the left. I'm dying for a nice copper. Milk and two sugars if you're listening, Mr. Producer. Could be. Skill. There we go. He really likes to get around the table quickly and keep the pace up. 
think this pink goes. It does. Maybe it only went into the right hand side jaw, but it went in. That's uh, the main thing. So, this black, the, the red. The question is do we bring it into play from this shot? We've got the angle, so why not? He's still in pretty good shape here. The position looks good. If we drop the pink in, we still should be able to cut the red looking in. Looking good. So, this is looking good now. For 3 0. Great position. The tension is really showing it's on his 26. face. Six. Very stressed. 26 points in. Uh, behind, sorry. So brown, brown is okay. Just need to make sure we don't snooker ourselves. Oh goodness me! No position. We hit that a bit too hard. Right, let's try and pop this yellow. It's a very tight angle from here, but uh, you know we got. Got to take it on at, at this stage. Using computers, we can predict where the white ball will end up. The player can't see that, of course. Oh, it's there. Wow. Well, Goodness me. I thought that had missed, but uh, somehow it wobbled in. And if this green goes in, it's going to be 3 0. 48. There it is. Ronnie will be very, very disappointed in his seat. Although, oh, I thought we'd hit that too hard, but uh, we're all right. So just this pink and black, and we're three nil up. So Ronnie had a couple of chances in this frame, took on a very risky cut, and then missed a long one. But well, we've come back with a lovely break of 70 yard, 70 I think. And we now lead 3-0 in this match. So, last frame of the episode. Let's hopefully get another frame on the scoreboard and go 4-0 up. That's what we'd like to see. Unless you're a Ronnie O'Sullivan fan, then you might want him to get this last one before the mid-session interval. Yeah. But uh, it's pink, a bit of follow-through. This could split the reds quite nicely. Just didn't get thick enough contact, really. Still okay, but... Uh, Wanted a bit more. Almost a foul. Surely we're not on the black. We are, you know. Great positional player. I think he might find it hard to keep the cue ball under control here. I'll drop this in. Good positional shot. Well, you have to say, the first frame was pretty scrappy, but since then we played really well. Obviously, the 147 in frame two and uh, that 70 clearance to take that one on the black um, was pretty good as well, and we'll start this break nicely. And uh, we're in pretty good shape. But he should be okay. 
So I'm winning all four frames here, which if you looked any more you know, real, would be crazy, be really. Winning. And we've we've had our handle over Ronnie in the last couple of matches we've played. Oh, the Blues off the table. Not traditionally. Five. Five. Wow. That's the second time in this series that that's happened. Once again, it, it wasn't as if it was off target. It was just... Uh, yeah. Just sort of jumped off the table. And, I mean, look at it. it it's down. There. Rolls back up. On the other side of the table and off. Well, we hadn't quite got the position anyway. These men must continue from here, I think. So, certainly an interesting choice. Trying it as thin as we can. <laughs> That was pretty thin, it scraped the paint off it, goodness me. Good safety shot. He's very Never fortunate. Never afraid of taking chances, this man. Loves to mix things up. I could have a go at the plant here. Should be able to get it back around the table. And there you go. Oh, wow. Unlucky with the, the cue ball, but uh, we can still take on this blue. This away. Just needs to concentrate. So, Fantastic. We're back in. Only just uh, a bit loose on the safety, really. Should never have been anywhere near that green. Oh, I haven't said that. We're not in the best shape here. Quite lucky the green's off its spot, so it's a little bit easier than it would normally be. Goodness me. I'm hampered now. Good pot. Good positional shot. Not looking phased by his opponent at all. Well, this time it'll probably jump out again, will it? Oh, it nearly did. It nearly did. Is that a three ball plant? Or a two ball plant? So a little look. No. What about that one? Oops. Could be, you know. This audience will be glad to be inside, I think. The weather's rather grim out there. Might squeeze this in. What's this? No, not quite. I think there's a gap. Oh, there's not. Going to John Virgo Great though. Safety. There's always a gap. Could have sworn there actually was a gap there, but never mind. It's a pity you have to belt everything on this game to get anywhere. You know, even this next shot, we're going to have to hit close to full power. Fantastic. I guess maybe when you level your Q power up and stuff, maybe you don't have to uh, hit it as hard. But uh, never mind that, we're 40. Uh, 6 in front, so. This uh, is a very decent chance to go 4 0 up alone. I'll mess that up a little bit. So, I'll go for this one up the cushion. Oh, yes! <laughs> John Virgo liked that one. So, green and one more red. Bad positional. He knows oh. in an incredibly difficult situation now, and the tension is showing. We could squeeze this well, in. This is a tough plant to get. Oh, 
Oh, it's there though. And that's the frame. Something for that, goodness me. So, 4 0 at the mid session interval. You would not have bet that. But Ronnie's had his chances. He's played a few odd shots, to say the least. But, uh, oh, well, that's missed. But uh, Ronnie O'Sullivan does concede. And at the mid-session interval, we lead by four frames to nil. Who would believe that? But if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily snooker content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.